So Mark Rowley, of course, has been very open about these issues, Ellie, so far, but uh, it appears that it could be more pain to come. Yes, absolutely. Good afternoon to you, Mark. He did seem very open and transparent this morning, that must be said. But there does seem to be this avalanche of court cases involving Metropolitan Police officers at the moment. And quite a stunning admission, really, from Sir Mark Rowley, who is the Commissioner of the Metropolitan Police. He said that two to three officers are in court cases every single week at the moment. So just an indication of where we're at uh, in terms of rooting out these rogue officers. A warning from Sir Mark Rowley uh, that there is a lot more of these cases to come. And that started really this morning, with the latest being the crimes of PC Hussein Chihab. He pled guilty yesterday to child sex offences. He is a serving Metropolitan Police Officer who was actually posted in a school in Enfield in North London. And he pled guilty yesterday to four counts of sexual activity with a girl between the ages of 13 and 15. Three counts of making indecent, indecent photographs with a child and sexual communication with a child as well. Now, he will be sentenced in March. The Met say there's no evidence that uh, Chihab's offending had any link to his role in the school in Enfield, but he had been vetted prior to his role in the school. But because those crimes hadn't yet been reported, of course, it wasn't flagged up on the system. Well, the first question in this hearing here this morning at the London Assembly was, of course, about the Chihab case. And this is what Sir Mark Rowley had to say about it. You will see progress from us step by step as we chase more trust, less crime and high standards, which I'm focusing on here. Um, we must improve dramatically for London. But lifting the stone and revealing painful truths will not be resolved overnight. And I mustn't pretend it will do. And I hope you, you understand that that can't be done. We have to prepare for more painful stories as we confront the issues that we face. Um, we've, we've discussed before sort of the systemic failings that create these problems of these officers who corrupt our integrity. And as we put in more resource, more assertive tactics, as we are more open to people reporting incidents to us from within and from without the organisation, as we more determinedly take on these cases, it will tackle the problems that we face, but it won't, it won't be rapid and it will be painful. And in that context, um, we need your support and the support of people of London. Um, please don't lose heart as we confront these issues, as we do this necessary and painful work to con finally confront those and rid the organisation of those who corrupt our integrity. Well, of course, Elia, after the, the Carrick and Cousins cases in, in particular, the question for all chief constables of how to reassure uh, public and, and, and retain their trust in police forces. Absolutely, Mark. And that is no easy feat, is it? Especially uh, for women and girls in London, Wayne Cousins and David Carrick actually being uh, from the same part of the Metropolitan Police. For women across the capital city, uh, it will be very, very difficult to regain this trust. It is an institution in crisis. And what Sir Mark Rowley was saying today was very open. He said that one of his priorities will, build, will be building up the trust of women and girls in the Met again, and he reiterated his apologies uh, for failing the victims and also women and girls in the city as well. He did promise action, though, and he's promised action from day one, bearing in mind he's only been the Commissioner of the Metropolitan Police since September. He said he would be ruthless in rooting out anybody who questions the integrity of the Met. And he spoke as well about Operation Onyx. That's that uh, operation or project, I would like to call it. Uh, going through historical cases of, of abuse and sexual abuse uh, of women and girls, uh, inclu this including a, a police officer. Now, he's going to look through all of those uh, investigations and make sure that the right decision was made with them. Because, for example, in the David uh, Carrick case, he was investigated and remained to be a serving Metropolitan Police officer. So, Mark, Mark Rowley uh, admitted to that, admitted to that failing today, and he also said he'd be 
be looking through all of these investigations, 1,071 of them, uh, to make sure that the right decision was made. And he was clear that he would drain the swamp, uh, but it will take time and it is going to look worse before it